All right, bro. Have you noticed that everyone's using these character animations on YouTube these days? Well, today, I'm gonna show you how to whip up your own in a snap. No time to waste. Let's dive right in. But hey, before we do, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like to support the channel. Thank you. First things first, we need a character for your vid. We're rolling with Leonardo AI for this one, but feel free to use your preferred text to image generator. I'll list a few free options in the description below. Just type in Leonardo AI in the search bar, quickly sign up. With Google, it's one click. Now style, I'm thinking GTA vibes. Hit community feed in the left menu, then characters here at the top. Boom, loads of options. Choose the one that speaks to you. You can adjust the prompt here and add in or remove anything you like. It's magic. Here we want to look and see which model to use. Leonardo has different generative models specific for the type of image it's trying to create. If you have the pro plan, you can just generate from here with a click. No worries if you don't though. Just take note of the model you like. It might be helpful to copy the prompt you'll find here too. Then click back onto the home page, hit image generation, and select the model of the image you like. For GTA type character images, you wanna use Leonardo Diffusion XL. Switch on alchemy and paste your prompt here at the top. Now, you might find it hard to get the perspective you want. To save you time and headache, the prompt you need is in the free resources document in the description. Just copy and paste it. But basically, you need to explain this part clearly in the prompt with, he is sitting behind his laptop in his office, arms on his desk. He is front facing to the camera, looking straight and centered, central portrait, sitting straight. I also recommend using prompts like volumetric lighting. All this will be in the Google Doc for you in the description below. I can't lie though, all this takes me time to put together. So please show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing so I can keep making videos like this. Respect. Okay, time for a bonus tip. If you want to hyper fine tune your image easily without giving Leonardo a thousands prompts, then jump across to Adobe Firefly. We want generative fill. This is another free tool. Here you can remove anything you don't want with a stroke of a brush and replace it with anything you want with a few word prompts. So for example, here we can add in a cup of coffee. Next up, we have one task in Photoshop. I know what you're thinking. I don't have that. No worries, here's a hack. If you want a free alternative, jump onto photop.com, links below. You know the drill, set up a canvas size of 1280x720, slap on your new character image, and select the spot healing tool. All we want to do here is remove the mouth, so just keep going over it over and over until you're happy. Then hit file, export as PNG. After exporting this image, the quality will be drastically worse like proper poor. But it's cool because I've got you on that too. Open a new tab and type in CapCut Image Upscaler. I know, awesome, right? Another free tool. Grab your image, drag, drop, select resolution 4K, then generate. Boom. Your image is back to full res. Now to finish up, we're gonna use CapCut. This is the desktop version, but you can use the mobile app or search in the browser for the web app. Open it up, start new project, and slap your edited image onto the timeline. Be sure to set the ratio to 16.9. Now, about those mouth animations. Check out Mouthy spouting something off. Just gotta fix that green background. Yes, bro. Before you virtually ask, where is this mouth video? It's in the resources, it's free. And you'll find the link in the description below. To remove it, click on the layer, go to video, cut out, chroma key, grab the color picker, and select that green. Crank up the strength and shadow to max. Like magic, it's gone. Now, let's get those mouths lined up with our character's chops. Bear with me, I hate things like this. I'm a perfectionist, so I could be here a while. I'll speed things up for you. Okay, got it. I think we could stop here, but let's turn this up a touch more. For that little bit extra, we can throw in some effects. I'll slap on a few for good measure. Here's a couple I recommend. 
Edge Glow is going to give your character scene some studio lighting. Thank me later. Yeah, man, we're getting close. Gold Sparkles keeps it 100, but fine-tune the atmosphere and speed for that A1 finish. Boom. Now, to finish with a couple body effects. But take your time. Find the filters that matches your image and style. I'm going to brighten the image, enhance the colors and clarity. Now we're golden. Hit export, and boom. Your animated character is complete. Remember all your resources, links, prompts, and mouth video are in the description below. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and I'll answer as best I can. Thanks for tuning into this quick tutorial, bro. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Catch you in the next one.